How do you stay consistent when there's a million things you need to do? That's what we're talking about in this episode. Welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. I'm your host, Anna Runyon, founder and CEO of Classy Career Girl, one of Forbes' most influential career sites. This is a podcast for a community of women who want to turn their passions into work they love. You'll learn how to become happy, successful, and balanced with class, skill, and style. We believe that you can create your future. So stop delaying your great life. Go put yourself out there. You can have your great life and career right now. We are back with a question of a topic that I'm kind of struggling with recently as well about how to stay consistent. So in the last episode, I told you about how we just finished up a big launch of our plan course. And I put so much time and energy into this course because I was so, and I still am so passionate about it right now. I'm going through the course with my students and we're having so much fun. Uh, And now it comes time to getting back to my normal consistent routine after launch and I have to say I'm struggling with consistency as well. It's been a couple days since I have posted on my Instagram and my Facebook page and this this episode right now I'm recording a little late like you'll probably get it tomorrow where I like to be a few weeks in advance. So I'm struggling with this right now because uh, after you finish something really really big For me, I always have to take a little break to get my head back on straight, to gear up my energy again, and to get back to a place where now I'm ready to be consistent again. So I thought this was a great topic because it's something that I'm struggling with and hopefully just sharing my tips with you is going to also help me be more consistent as well because I learn when I teach. That's why I do what I do. And so that's why I loved this topic. So what it comes down to is it really comes down to thinking about where am I headed? These are the questions that I'm thinking about right now as I try and figure out, okay, what should I post on Instagram now that my plan course promotion is over? What's next? What's my vision? And where am I headed still for the rest of 2019? Because I'm recording this on November 25th. So I still have plenty of time in 2019. And so do you guys. And so start by thinking that. What is the goal for the end of 2019? We do not have to wait until January to reach our goals and to start a consistent routine that are gonna, that's going to help us get a jump start on our goals. And this truly is the best time of the year to start planning, which is why you're going to hear from me a lot right now because I love this time of year. I love planning, as you guys already know. I love goal setting. There's just so much possibility when we look back and we see all the great stuff that happened this year, and then we look forward to what what can come. And it all starts with getting into that consistent rhythm. So I wanted to share some of the things that I'm working on to get back into a consistent rhythm after working so hard on a promotion and getting back into the swing of things. The first thing that I am working on that I always do no matter what, and this is the something that is really saving me after putting so much time and energy into a launch and, and now having to get back into my regular routine is my weekly review session every week, no matter what, this really helps me stay focused and and identify what are the things that I really need to focus on in order to reach my goals. So every Friday, I have a habit. It's not even on my calendar because this has now become a habit. I've done this for three years. So, uh, But if you're just starting this, you'll probably want to put your weekly review session on your calendar so you remember this. But every Friday, I have a habit and I, I look at all the things that I was supposed to do for the week. And I look and see and I what did not get done. And so I make a list of everything that is then gonna be moving to next week. And I make a list of what is really still urgent that needs to get done on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then on Sunday night, before Monday even starts, I make my top three priorities for the next week. And this is something I learned from Michael Hyatt 
and in his book, Free to Focus, he says that productivity isn't about getting more done. It's about getting the right things done. And for me in my business, this is, this is the reason our business has grown so much over the past few years is because I have focused strategically on what my priorities have been every single week. And this forces me each week to look at my monthly goals and see how I'm doing and to see what needs to change. So I'm always looking back at my monthly goals. I'm looking back at my annual goals every single day. I'm looking at my annual goals. And so this weekly review session helps me be consistent. Um, When our cart closed for our plan course, it closed on a Thursday night. And so Friday, I was just completely exhausted. I think I was like, I slept in bed all morning because after taking my daughter to kindergarten and I was just so pooped from being up late and from talking to people and I was very, very tired. But I still on Friday did this weekly review session and that's why it's my number one tip to stay consistent because this saved me on that day when I was just exhausted and I had no idea what I was going to do next and this just helped me like, okay, where am I going again? What do I need to get done this week? And it really helped me focus in on staying consistent for the following week. So the second thing that I do that is helping me stay consistent when it feels like there's a million things that I need to do is really thinking about where am I going? And I always need to build something when it comes to um, launching a product or a service or something, anything that's happening promotional in my business. I always like to give myself a runway, some time. So never in our business are we like, okay, what are we going to do next week? Or let's figure out what we're going to do next week. Everything is obviously carefully planned out uh, because that's, that's what gives us the most space to do our best work and to provide the best content for you and the best experience for you. And so when I got done with the last promotion, and I started looking, I started looking about looking at where am I going? What's what's next on our promotional calendar? And that's where the promotional calendar comes into play. Each year I plan out the year and I put my big promotions and my small promotions. I buy a big uh, 12-month calendar from Target and I fill out the whole calendar and I write in like when I'm going to do big launches, like our planned course launch was a big launch. And then we also have smaller promotions, you know, we'll have a Black, little Black Friday sale and, you know, I'll have a, you know, and, and we might do a challenge in January and a couple webinars in March and um, a waitlist promotion for our membership site. Those are smaller or some Facebook lives. Those are smaller little promotions. And so before the year starts, I always have that promotional calendar. Now, let me tell you, it changes and that is totally fine, but at least I have a good plan for the year. So I have to look back and see, okay, what is happening and when is the next launch? And then I work my way to that. So when I got done with a plan launch and I'm completely exhausted and I'm like, okay, what do I need to do? I have that promotional calendar to look back at and see, oh yeah, in January, I was going to have a challenge. Oh yeah, end of November, we're going to have a Black Friday sale. And so now I know how to be consistent because everything is building to that Black Friday sale or everything is building to that challenge. And that's what helps me be consistent because Um, I get excited about those things that are coming up and that helps me create content. Like I have to be excited about where our company is going and what we're providing. And then that helps me each and every day create content that's going to excite me because it's going to help you. So I have to look back, see what is happening, see when I'm launching the next thing. And then I work my way to that when it comes to posting on social media, when it comes to doing anything free or giving away anything free, or even when it comes to this podcast, the content that I'm teaching on this podcast, because if I'm not excited about what I'm launching, it needs to go. So if you're having trouble with consistency, you might want to evaluate, like, are you loving what you do, what you're doing right now? Are you loving the products you sell, the services you sell? Like everything I sell right now, I absolutely love. I've had to get rid of some stuff um, that I didn't, didn't really love doing. Like one of them was resume reviews. I used to do a ton of resume reviews. I could, I could charge a lot of money. I got paid a lot of money, um, you know, to do resume reviews. And, but it just, it just, 
drained me. I was not excited about it. And so now everything that I launch in our business is something, it's only a few things. It's not a ton of things. It's a few things that I really love. I've put my heart and soul into it and I get really excited because I know that that product or service can change someone's life, lives. Um, it, cha- it can change other people's lives. And that's what keeps me consistent because all it is, is I just think about helping one person every day. I think a lot of times we get overwhelmed with selling and like, oh gosh, I'm, I have this fear of selling, but I just break it down. And I always have done this when it came back to um, blogging. Like I, I just went to like, if one person <laughs> reads my blog post today, I'll be happy because I'm just helping that one person. And so when we can kind of change that mindset of we're serving, we're not selling, And I love working up to these and giving myself these long runways for my open carts um, for for when I sell during open cart. That's what we call it. Someone asked me the other day, what is open cart? So now I'm like, oh, I have to be very, very clear. So I, I give myself this long lead up to be to open doors to my product or my service. And they're only open for that limited amount of time. And then we close. And so I give so much value into those launches. Launches are exciting and it's a big deal to work towards something that you know can change people's lives. And so that's the second thing I do is I really understand where I'm going, what la- what I'm launching next. And I look at that promotional calendar that I've created at the beginning of the year. Now, The third thing that I recommend doing when it comes to staying consistent is creating a daily habit. Now, the third thing that I recommend doing in order to stay consistent is creating a daily habits list. And this list is something I go to every single day. Well, I try and do this every day. During this launch time, I kind of got off track because we were so busy answering questions and and doing Facebook lives and just everything that we could do uh, to help people make a decision if the program was right for them, I got kind of off track. And so when the launch was done and I was like, okay, I need to get back and consistent with my daily routine. Cause I'll tell you when I'm not doing my daily habits, I feel off. And when I am doing my daily habits, I feel so much more at peace and present. Like that's the biggest thing for me. When I go through this list, I feel more like myself, which we all want to feel more like ourselves, right? I just feel like more present. I feel like a better person, a better wife, a better mom. I just feel healthier. I feel better um, and happier. And so I review, try and review my daily habits list every single day. Um, and, you know, my daily habits are like take my vitamins, it's meditate, it's um, devotions, it's it's write, and uh, I keep like a journal for my daughters. Um, that's part the part of the, the good mom thing. Like when I can write a couple things about my daughters of the day or whatever, I just feel, I just feel better. Um, my gratitude list, like saying, writing down something I'm thankful for, um, whether it's writing down an affirmation. So every single day I repeat an affirmation and I like I have an affirmation of the day that's really really important to me and that helps me stay positive I'm working out every day I'm drinking my four bottles of water every day Um, so yours could be yours could be different and um, another one that has to do with business that is on my daily habits is my social media post Um, that's on my daily habits because I feel better when I share a message on social media that's like from my heart and something it's it's like writing. I started a business as a blogger in 2010. Like it it makes me feel better to share a message that's going to help someone else. That's what why I originally started blogging. So I always have to remember like this is why I started. It's not to do a podcast or a Facebook live or even to coach or, or, you know, to be in my membership site or it's not nothing, nothing like that. Or to create a great picture on Instagram. Like the reason I started was, was to write and to write a message that helps other people. And so that's why when I say I'm more present when I do this list, because even something like that, sharing a message from the heart on my Instagram profile that I feel is going to help one person that makes me feel better. And so that's what helps me stay consistent as well. 
Um, I don't, I try not to care too much about um, how much time I put into it. I try not to care too much about the picture or what it looks like because I know if I can just get the writing out there, that's going to help someone. And so sometimes we get stuck and like, oh, I don't have a good picture. And um, like, I don't know if anyone's going to like this post or anything like that. But I, and I also don't care about, um, the actual time that I post the picture to. So sometimes it's 10 o'clock and I haven't done my post for the day, but I'm like, you know what? I got to do this. It's on my daily habits. It's going to help one person. Someone at 10 o'clock has got to be up to read my post right now. Um, so I just try not to overthink it. I just try and post it out there because I know it's serving someone and it's just got to get out there and it's just got to help someone. So that's how I use the daily habits list in my business. If there's something in your business that you need to look at and do every single day, that's how I use um, the daily habits list as well. So to summarize, those are the three ways that I stay consistent. The number one way is having that weekly review session, no matter what, reviewing what didn't get done that week, what needs to move to next week, what your priorities are for the next week, and just making sure that you're getting the right things done. When you look back at your goals, you can kind of be like, okay, These are the things I need to focus on. These really are my true priorities this week. And these are what I need to focus on getting done first. The second tip for staying consistent is knowing where you're going. And the head of the year, so this is a great time to go get a 12-month calendar and map out your promotions, your big promotions, your small promotions, and really identify where you're going so that when it comes to in when you're in the middle of the year and you just, you know, did a big promotion or you just did something and you're like, okay, now what do I do? You can look back at that calendar and be like, this is what I originally had planned. Um, I know my husband and I, we were just going to create this brand new um, sale, this new product for Black Friday. And then just today we were, we were thinking back, we went back to our promotional calendar and we said, you know, originally we had just planned to do this, um, this, this sale that we always have done for Black Friday for the past like five years. Um, why are we changing things? Like, why don't we just stick to what we know works? And it's way easier to stick to something that you know works. So um, knowing where you're going ahead of time, the third tip for you about staying consistent is having that daily habits list that you try to review every day. You don't, might not get them all done, but I will tell you, if you can just get two of the 10 things done, you'll feel better about yourself than, than not doing any of it. And so it's just really that time in your calendar every single day. You just look at your list, be like, okay, what did I get done? What I have not done? Let me go take some vitamins and drink some more water and we're good. You know, so that's all it is. You know, it's just kind of a little, it's, it's, I don't even check, check my habits off. I just look at them. It's just a list that I look at every single day in my planner. And I just look at it and I'd be like, okay, these are the things I still have to do today. And it takes me like five minutes. Um, reading is on there too. Um, I try and read a little bit every day too. So, um, so those are my tips for you. I hope this helps you leave us a review on iTunes. If this helps you out, I love reading all those reviews as well as share on your Instagram at classy career girl tag classy career girl on your Instagram stories that you're listening to this podcast. I would love to give you a shout out. We're going to be doing that coming up here soon. I'm doing some more shout outs of the reviews that have been coming in on iTunes. Um, and also So I would love to reshare um, on Instagram stories if you're watching and listening. Um, I love to reshare other people too. So uh, also make sure you grab our brand new free planner. Um, Some of you guys have been using our old free planner, but it got a makeover and it's now gorgeous and beautiful. So make sure you go get the brand new one for 2020. It's www.classycareergirl.com forward slash free plan. It says create your future on the front. It's like pink. Um, it's got a pretty little flower. So it's not the the old black one. So make sure you go get the new one because it's beautiful and you guys are loving it. Okay. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks for listening to the Classy Career Girl podcast. If you are serious about changing your life and your career, we'd love to welcome you into our membership community. It's where we go deeper on the principles that we teach in this podcast. So come join us in class. You can learn more at www.classycareergirl.com forward slash join.